To perform a standing water flush on an inboard-outboard engine, start the decontamination unit according to standard operating procedure and measure the temperature until it reaches 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to wear all personal protective equipment. Confirm that the drain plug is installed and flush the engine compartment by holding the low pressure attachment close to the floor. Fill the compartment with 2 to 3 gallons of water, being careful not to overfill and submerge the engine. Pull the bilge and other appropriate drain plugs and have the boat owner turn on the bilge pump. Measure the exiting water until it reaches 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Once this temperature has been reached, instruct the boater to turn off the bilge pump. The majority of inboard-outboard engines use raw water for cooling and are known to hold water even after shutdown. To perform a standing water decontamination of an inboard-outboard engine, have the boat owner lower the motor to a vertical position. Raise the temperature of the decontamination unit and measure until the water reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the temperature has been reached, fit the engine muff attachment over the intakes on the lower unit. Depress the trigger and have the boat owner start the engine in neutral, being sure to stay clear of the propeller to avoid injury. Once the exiting water reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit, ask the boat owner to turn off the engine. It is important to keep the trigger depressed and water circulating through the engine until it has been turned off. Remove the muffs and allow the water to drain from the lower unit. Once the water has stopped draining, instruct the boat owner to raise the engine. Follow standard operating procedure to shut down the decontamination unit, being certain to depressurize the water line immediately. Remember, the goal of every inspection is no plants, no mud, no water, and no mussels in between each and every launch.